Hey guys, so I realized that I actually haven't made anything in quite some time. So I wanted to actually do a video again where I show you guys how to create something for your space to make it kind of creepy, make it kind of cool. Especially since it's Christmas time because who doesn't like a little creepy in their Christmas, you know? I'm gonna show you guys how to make the monster wreath, specifically the one that's from the Haunted Mansion that has kind of the creepy crawly arms. So why don't we go ahead and get started on that. We'll jump into the supplies first so you know what you need, and then we'll go ahead and get the ball rolling. All right, cool. You're gonna need to get whatever garland that you have. Mine's 15 feet, it's pretty thin. So what I wanna do is actually just wrap it around itself just to make it a little bit thicker, but also the bendable wire will be a little bit more stabilized, a little bit more secure if I have it kind of twisted around. So I just folded it over and I'm just kind of twisting it. All right, so now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and start using our metal frame here. Take one of your garland, and where you have one end, go ahead and just kind of weave it through one of the wire spots, and just kind of wrap the garland ends, the wire within the garland, wrap it around it. And then once we do that, we're literally just gonna go right around the entire thing, just through the center, like that, and around, just wrap it right around. We're not gonna go through the prongs. We're just gonna weave it through. Kind of like you're taking a long sewing needle. Okay, once you get to the end, just take the end of your garland, just like this, and just bend it through one of the wired prongs and wrap it around. That way it's secured. And as you can see, got a decent amount, uh, definitely a little over a third, and everything's covered. You can kind of just Pull up a little bit on certain spots if you want any additional volume. That's what also helps with the twist, but we got a nice thickness here and everything's beautifully covered. So let's just go ahead and keep doing that all the way around. Okay, so I have just two of my garland on and I have this spot here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna use the garland to fill this space up but I'll wrap it around starting to come up to the halfway points on the side and that's where I'll begin my arms extending so that way it has a nice anchor point. So this actually kind of works out a little bit here. I don't need arms that are like ridiculously long so I think I might fold my garland over on itself yet again. So it was originally 15 feet. This is now seven and a half because I twisted it on itself. I think I might actually do that again. So I'm going to twist it, make it so I'm what now like 3.75 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping it around this center bit. So I'm going to fold it into where the metal prongs are, so that way it's secured really nice. Go ahead, wrap it around, and then I'm gonna start coming up to my side points. So, this is gonna be hard to show you. Let's see if I can do this slowly. We have the arm here. 
pay close attention to right here. I'm gonna wrap it around, but I'm gonna keep my thumb underneath so that way I still have some space. You can see there's still a hole. There's my fingers. I'm going to pull this around, but then I'm gonna take my arm, I'm gonna slide it through that hole where I left it lifted, kind of like I'm tying a knot, just so that I know this will stay right where I need it to. So it should look something like this right now. Next step, just go ahead and take black foam and you're gonna cut out a sheet to fit the backing of your wreath. Then take a pen and mark the inside so you know where to put your teeth. So now that I have that, I need to go ahead and cut out just some random teeth shapes. I'm gonna do some long, some short. Make sure you have some variation. That way it will actually look better. You can even layer them on top of each other to kind of make it look like there's rows of teeth, kind of like a shark. Make it a little bit more creepy. You can also paint these, so that's kind of up to you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do some general triangular shapes here. Once you have all your teeth, you need to hot glue them down. Make sure that you stay within that circle that you just drew though, so that way they will all be exposed. Once that's done, take your hot glue and make sure to stick right around the edges of your black foam because you want this to be completely covered by the greenery of your wreath. Go ahead and place that right on top. Give it a nice, good, firm press to make sure that the foam and the wreath and the glue is all solidified together. But as an additional precaution, I personally took some floral wire, wrapped it around the wire frame, and poked it through the foam sheet in the back, and just kind of twisted it around itself, just to kind of add that extra security. And I did it on four points along the wreath. This is just extra though, you don't have to do it. Now for the eyes, I just cut out some yellow foam. I just did some pointed ovals, and I basically formed the garland into an angry shape and stuck my foam inside. After that, I just went ahead and secured a bow. You can do a pre-made bow or make your own bow, but I glued it and I used floral wire. Once that was done, I took my paint marker. You could also just take regular paint and I went ahead and added some pupils. I noticed that the ink definitely started to absorb, so I had to do a couple layers. But then I also decided to add a couple white dots just to add a little bit more visual interest to the eyes. But that's optional. Now, I'm going to take an ornament here. And since I have these little prongs, like I mentioned, I'm gonna take the end of one, I'm gonna get the wire through the metal hoop on the ornament wire of the garland through the hoop, and then I'm gonna kind of wrap it around itself, so that way it's secured. And then the other part of the garland that we spread apart, I think I'm gonna hot glue to the ornament itself, so it looks like he's holding it. At least that's the hope. So I'm gonna put the glue on the actual ornament itself, and then just kind of hold the garland there for a little bit till it dries and hopefully that will keep it nice and secured. There we go. Oh, I'm a happy camper. Okay, he's cool. All right, I hope you guys liked that. I really hope that that tutorial was easy enough to understand, but if you do have a question, just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But that being said, I do have to say that after I did that tutorial for y'all, that basically showed me the foundation of how to create the wreath. And I realized that I could actually go a lot more ham with it. 
so I kind of did. <laughs> I made these two baby wreaths here where I actually added lights, I added some more cool ornaments, I painted the teeth, I painted the eyes, and then I also made two large wreaths. So I have quite a large family of wreaths here that I clearly cannot keep, so I'm putting them into my Etsy shop. So link down in the description bar below. But otherwise, I highly recommend that you guys get creative and you have fun this holiday season because it's always a blast to make your own decor. It's always something that no one else is going to have, so keep that in mind. But anyway, speaking of that, I need to actually go restock my Etsy shop because my dad basically cleared me out because he loves me so much. But if anybody else wants to buy something, I need to actually have stuff in there. So I'm going to work on that this week, so there's likely not going to be a video, but I will see you the following week. All right? Cool, I'm gonna jump off, bye. <laughs>